Trade Pro FX back here with another amazing video. So welcome back to Trade Pro FX. So I'll be guiding you through, through another powerful strategy using the one hour and the five minutes charts to catch a high probability trade with a precise entry. So uh, we'll start by identifying some key levels on the one hour. So I'm just uh, basically looking for a good uh, volatility chart. So allow me to refresh this volatility 25 index and uh, maybe we can try uh, to check the volatility 75 index which normally most of the derived traders uh, normally like uh, trading so i'll just click at the derive that's how you move then you click to your your choice of the market so you can see me at the volatility 75 i'm looking at something uh, before i can conclude the market that i want to trade because i told you here at trade pro fx i show you the at exact time as we trade so looking at this you remember the uh, volatility derived volatilities have not uh, come upon uh, any site that helps to back test so if you have any uh, you can comment below you can help me and others we saying uh, you are not mr know it all so you have to learn other things so i've never seen at any point uh, uh, trading volatility markets uh, through backtesting like uh, i normally told you while trading forex you can use something we call go charting to backtest and uh, it shows you very well timed uh, markets in the forex market but for the volatility um, uh, markets i'm not seeing that uh, if you can consider looking at the trading the trading view trading forex you have never seen it so let's start by doing the analysis in this 25 one uh, 25 index so you first mark the first uh, lower point and the highest point of the market so looking at that the candlestick at that point was uh, at that the highest point it moved was at that point and the lowest point it moved was at that point but that was just a, by the way i want us to focus on the volatility uh, 25 one hour that's what i want us to uh, focus mostly on so after uh, i'll just mark these key levels just to make sure i can get at the exact time that daily candlestick has started to form so after i'm done i'll just skip to the one hour and you can see the line i have drawn so this is probably how the market has been moving from that area with a with a horizontal line so with that i'll just now start marking the key level so i'll wish each and every person you can use this strategy to trade in also in forex markets but now for derive uh, trading view you can just use because you can see how i've started i've started with the daily then marked the exact candlestick where it has started then now i'm at the 25 uh, uh, index so i've marked the one hour so now after identifying we'll start first by first marking the key levels here on the one hour chart so that's the highest point the market went has all has gone so then after we are done we will drop to the five minutes where we will look for breakout and latest setups this approach will always give you a better understanding of the market structure and help you find sniper entries with strong accuracy so uh, i've marked my the high 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 and now i'm about to mark the low and you can see the row is the, on the same uh, point so we ha don't have to mark any other point so i'll just move to the five minutes where after we now this is the point now to to spot the best entry points so if you are an mt5 trader this is for you uh, however if you are a derived trader you can and you normally use the derived charts on the trading uh, trader the derived trader you can also use the same concept so i've marked the highest point on the one hour so i'm about now to mark the highest point the market has moved on the five minutes so looking at these five minutes you can see that the market is on a downtrend so i'll first mark my area on on the higher time frame uh, so i'll just mark the highest point the high point on these uh, five minutes and then uh, uh, drop uh, to the lower point so on the below of the market 
Uh, so you can see that's the highest point. So looking at this, this cannot be our uh, our lower point. So at that exact area, can, that should be the lowest point of the market. So let me push the market uh, somehow uh, sideways. So let's let's proceed so let's proceed let me push this to the sideways so that's a mistake of our drawing so looking at it so that's not the point i want so we remain we just push this uh, area to the lower point at that exact point so when the market breaks that area to the point uh, on the on that point below we will take a trade so let's move uh, and see where the currently the market is so when it pushes the market below that point and then retests that's our entry point so let's push the market very slowly wow we can see the market has pushed at that point then is currently has retested the first time you can see the first time it has retested so you would have scooped that entry point with a ratio of one is to two i have always told you one ratio two always works perfect so it went down then retested let me pick the path pattern so that i can explain very well how the market went just observe at this area the market went at that point and then retested at the point uh, it break off so you can see this was a downtrend so after reaching at this point the market went up then has retested to the up direction so let me pick my path and uh, it has straight very well so after it went down it took that area then uh, then went down uh, very well so that was a good perfect entry for picking a uh, very good entry because i've told you whenever these markets retest so you can see that's a good entry which you would have entered at that exact point but looking and on the right side you can see that was a good perfect for ratio and is to two uh, then you would have entered at that point and then closed at that and then your stop loss will be at that uh, area and then your stop uh, your take profit go downwards ratio one is to two so with those few remarks we can see that the market again has retested on that direction so on that end there you can see just look at it it has retested on that area so what does the market what will the market do it will still move down why it has reached out our, our area of concern of the retest so now because this price has shown as a breakout it shows that the momentum will be a down so after this retest it gives us a confirmation that this breakout is very valid and the retest will let us know that if that truly the mark the, this level has been retested for the first time and then for the second time it has been retested and this level is our new support so our new support our new support and also has acted as a resistance at the same time so this area now becomes our entry point and we what is our ratio one ratio two is our our uh, uh, target so i'll just put go to my to my uh, account and uh, let's do uh, a, a good entry using these uh, demo accounts from the deriv so i'll just go to uh, deliver login so you just get into your deliver login then you will go to cdf so if you have not checked how to open a, an account to trade uh, the mt5 i illustrated in one of the videos on this channel so go look how you can uh, set up an, a good account so after you see i've seen uh, after waiting for that retest i've seen a very good entry and making it very well crucial it has retested for the second time so i'll just tap that open so this is volatility 10 index so we have no issues so we'll just uh, change everything to the right market so guys i've told you after we will set it as we had analyzed on our trading the review so you change the volatility 10 index and you can see we are currently at one hour so we will change this to volatility uh, 25 index so you see after understanding the candlestick uh, um, uh, psychology on the five minutes chart you can make it by looking for a good retest and uh, and after observing that and paying attention to that you can simply in be interpreting your other candlestick so i'll just press that for a 25 index 
and then for the rot size i'll just use a hundred uh, so in trading during the mt5 you can use a hundred uh, which seems just like uh, trading using a stake well trading using a boat but here we call them the lot size if you want for more information you can just uh, uh, dm and for more consultation and uh, if you intend to uh, join any uh, premium classes no problem you can just ask me that's for only two weeks so after that, i'm done with that i'm just i'll just join at five minutes so this is the point we have said that we are going to enter and already we have entered that market you can see that candlesticks showing a bullish uh, momentum but we already know that the candlestick will definitely go down so you can see currently we have sold volatility 25 index so i'll just uh, be observing this and then i'll join the video after the results bye wow after around 30 minutes uh, let's look see the wonders after the market has moved very well to the downside so we have grasped a profit of 672 very perfectly so guys you see the setup was very well after waiting for or checking for analysis after looking at the one hour then the test on the five minutes we have grasped something so that's it guys learn to be patient and be disciplined in if you want more information about this you can just uh, dm for more uh, illustration and more uh, concept and knowledge to or to you so that's how we cross the trade and we call it a day and if you make such kind of movements you can always grasp something in the derive market especially if you are a trader trading meta trader five that is resembles as forex trading let's meet in the next video